Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. It's the Weather Extreme video, the morning edition. This is for Wednesday, the 27th of November. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather improving today after a round of overnight rain and storms. The next storm system due in here over the weekend. What about the timing on that? Let's talk about things. There's the upper look this morning. We have a deep, intense, negative tilt upper trough in the western states. That's produced some wild weather. High wind, snow, strong storms. That's lifting up toward the Great Lakes. And that was the radar early this morning at 4.32. No human should be awake at that hour, but we are, and that's what's happening. These storms are under severe limits, as expected. Uh, no severe storms, but the gradient winds are very strong, uh, not related to storms, gusting at times to 30 miles an hour, but that activity will be ending soon. It's very mild as the day begins. Muscle Shoals at 71, Tuscaloosa 70. But you can see behind the front, it's 49 at Little Rock, 37 at Tulsa. And temperatures will likely fall slowly through the 60s today as the winds shift around to the west and then northwest. And it's very cold back in the west with a big snow cover. Uh, Denver and Cheyenne, Casper, they are around zero this morning. But it's mild in the east ahead of the front. All right, Thanksgiving travelers. This is not a good-looking map on Thanksgiving Eve. First off, we've got uh, high wind warnings for places like St. Louis and Chicago and Indianapolis. That will greatly impact air travel in those cities today. North of there, winter storm warnings for parts of Minnesota and Wisconsin. And look at all the winter storm warnings in the western states. Just very uh, cold and unsettled there if you're traveling. But no severe storms expected today. There could be some pockets of thunder. Uh, our activity here this morning up in the northeast and also in California. Tomorrow, a marginal risk through parts of the desert southwest. This is Friday, day three, a marginal risk of severe storms, including places like Oklahoma City and Dallas-Fort Worth. And on day four, which is Saturday, a risk of severe storms west of Alabama, but no severe weather is defined beyond that. And we'll talk about the weekend situation in detail here in a second. This is the precipitation over the next seven days. Hard to find any dryness. And Alabama amounts under one inch, and that'll be with the next system coming in here this weekend. So model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS. This is the 12Z, the 06C run, valid this afternoon at 3. The uh, trough lifting up into Canada, north of us. A big upper high is over southern Florida and Cuba, and a big trough coming into California. Down below that, heavy snow and almost blizzard conditions continue across the UP of Michigan. Showers for the east and a lot of snow out west. But for us, the sky becoming sunny today. And again, temperatures will likely be falling through the 60s. Tomorrow for Thanksgiving Day, cool and dry. Lots of sunshine, the high in the upper 50s. Some rain to the west and again, more mountain snow out in the western third of the country. Black Friday, we're dry. We'll call it partly sunny. The high will be around 60 New storm really cranks up the snow in the western states. The skiers will love that. And a chance of some thunderstorms out ahead of that through parts of Texas and Oklahoma. All right, this is Saturday, Iron Bowl Saturday. We've got a complex storm, a deep surface low that's over South Dakota. Heavy snow continues north and west of that. Rain and thunderstorms south and east of there. A secondary surface low is over Arkansas, but again, you can see that the... Uh, uh, rain should hold west of the state, and we think the Iron Bowl will be dry and mild with highs in the upper 60s at Jordan-Hare Stadium. We'll check the European just for consistency's sake, and it's very, very similar. Good model consistency. So, again, for the moment, the Iron Bowl looking mild and dry, mostly cloudy rain coming in after the game. This is Saturday night at midnight. And, uh, again, there's going to be very good dynamic support, but this is the instability, and there's just not any much like the deal early this morning. So certainly a chance of strong storms Saturday night, early Sunday morning this weekend, but I'd say the odds of any severe weather at the moment look low. And then during the day Sunday, the rain will be ending during the morning and temperatures will likely fall through the 50s during the day with a pretty good northwest wind. And then Monday will start the day around freezing, the high in the upper 40s. We note on Monday snow possible up in the Great Smoky Mountains. Snow fans... Gatlinburg, Pigeon Forge, places like that over to Boone, North Carolina. 
Tuesday, we're cool and dry. Here's a week from today, Wednesday, the 4th, troughing to the east. And again, that will be dry. Let's go out 10 days. This is Friday the 6th, northwest flow aloft, and again, maybe some showers to the west. But generally speaking, next week looks very quiet. This is the rain for Birmingham for the next 15 days. The mean between 2 and 3 inches. And the numbers? On Sunday, that high of 65 probably comes during the early morning hours, kind of like today. We'll fall through the 50s, I think, Sunday. And then you can see Monday and Tuesday evidence of highs in the upper 40s. And after that, seasonal for early December with highs mostly in the 50s. Not that far from average for this time of the year. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. You can catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. AS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.